All right, out here on the line again today, and we have another muddy coon in a DP. So uh, we'll get him dispatched and continue on. All right, we're here at another creek. Had this real nice big coon here, and uh, that's the pocket there he came into. We're on the the corner here of this this creek. It's a uh, I don't know, maybe about 20 foot wide, but these corners are real great spots. I mean, these steep banks are coming down one side or the other. So got a, a pocket right over there. Had a coon in yesterday, and then we also had a coon in this set yesterday, and then today we've got another one. So. There's three coons out of this one little corner in the last two days. And it's been getting real cold. Dude. But them coons are still working these pocket sets. So, pretty lo good locations here. You set these corners of these creeks like this with real steep banks. So, anyway, we're going to reset this pocket here and move on. Okay, this is what you want to see. Yep. Coon here. big one too anyway that was the pocket right right there had dug out but uh as you can see I'm not standing in but about 10 inches of water so can't drown him but uh put that put that pogo down down towards the water on that steep bank and uh that's a number 11 there with uh, double jaws on it. So, because he's going to be in that trap a lot if you don't want him to chew his foot off. But uh, we'll get him out and I'll show you the show you the pad catch there. See it? Them double jaws, they really do help. So we'll get him out real quick. Alright guys, well, there's the, uh, there's the pad catch there. I don't know if you can see the double jaws real good or not anyway. But uh, anyway, you can you can see it. Uh, they're not going anywhere with them double jaws. Uh, you know, if I was just a standard like a one and a half or just a standard number eleven with uh with no double jaws, that coon very well could have could have pulled out because that's a pretty big coon. I mean, that's that's a that's a 17, 18 pound coon, you know, so, but, uh, them double jaws, they work good. That, that long trap, too, where you can't work at it, kind of keeps them calm down, that heavier trap. I like that, too. But anyway, that's, uh, you know, you can see that coon's not even underwater there, and he's at the bottom of that creek, so. Even these places, uh, that you've got like this, it's not deep enough to drown them. Well, you can still still set your pocket sets, you know, because I don't know if you can see, but that coon was caught right there in that pocket set, and right there is a DP had a coon in it uh, yesterday, but it was a little bit warmer yesterday. Last night it got real cold, and those DPs they just don't don't seem to work quite as good whenever it gets cold, but them coons, they'll still work these pocket sets. So, anyway, hope this helps. Alright guys, well, I forgot the camera today, but uh, figured I'd share, share my catch with you today. We got, got here we got uh, six coons, two possums, one coyote there, and uh, another big coon there. So, six coons, two possums, and, and a coyote today. So, this was the, uh, the first coyote of the season. Don't have too many sets out. Waiting for get real cool working on them coons while it's still warm. But anyway, figured I'd share that with you. All right, we'll see you.
Here's another another nice coon. It's a it's a big coon too. That's a, it's a big coon and a and a DP. See right there. So anyway, we get him out. Move on. All right, guys. Well, it's uh it's the end of the first week of trapping season. Trapping season started seven days ago, so this is the end of the first week. And what we got this week here is uh, mainly targeted coons this week. While it's still pretty warm, ended up with uh, with 44 coons. So I got 44 coons there. Had two coyote sets out, and I got got one coyote there. He get flipped here a little bit. Uh, let's see. There's a few possums there. Caught in conibear, so I'd keep them. And there's uh, one nice skunk there. But anyway, that's a little update there on the uh, the first week there of trapping season. So it gets cold, we'll start hitting them canines hard and try to stay with them coons a little bit. So anyway, we'll talk to you all later.